What's up, guys? So this week's episode, I get a little bit personal about some experience that I went through to help you deal with going through the struggle, the bullshit, the process, getting to the other side of it to find your success. It's your boy, Clint, and this is the Tile Free Podcast. actually got a dm this morning i had a different topic that i wanted to discuss but this uh this dm kind of hit me hard and it's a personal this is personal for me so this is probably the least polished you'll see me um but i think it's really important for me to be honest with uh with you guys about where i came from and what i went through and my experiences in life um that led me to this point um so the point is is, is i posted a meme uh that said, I'll have to pull it up here, that says, uh, if you don't fight for what you want, don't cry for what you lost. And my buddy posted this, it had a cheetah running like super fast. And I thought it was a cool thing to say um, because I fight pretty hard uh, for what I've got. And somebody, somebody sent me a DM that said, what if you lose what you fought for? And I thought it was a, a really personal thing to say and um i went through some pretty rough times i was in las vegas nevada uh during the 2008 economy crumble the housing market fell apart and i remember saying as companies were starting to drop off i remember saying like oh my company's good i'm a good company that won't happen to me and we had a good business. We were doing slab countertops. We were doing tile insulation. I had a couple of trucks on the road. I had several people I was working with and training. Um, and as the time went on, things got worse and worse. Lost my house, lost my trucks, uh, ended up taking jobs off of Craigslist. Uh, if you're in Canada, Craigslist, same thing as Kijiji. If you're in the States, you know what Craigslist is. And I have to remind those that don't, uh, have to go through the same thing that people like in California and Nevada have to go through. When you get your tile uh, contractor's license, when you start a business and you want to install tile, is actually against the law to not carry what's called a, a tile contractor's license. It's a trade-specific license. So you need a bond with $10,000 sitting in the bank. You have to take a test. You have to get three contractors to say that uh, as references that can account for years of your experience. So I had gone through all that. I had done everything right. I had saved my money. I had paid my taxes. I did everything like I was supposed to do. And here comes 2008. And it basically dismantled uh, me personally and professionally to the point where I was answering ads on Craigslist to remove popcorn off of a ceiling or install someone's sod on their lawn or how I lost, actually lost my contractor's license is because I took a job uh, doing a cinder block wall. So I hand dug footings in the fucking desert of Las Vegas, 24 by 24 inches deep, 24 inches wide, hand digging these footings for a hundred foot block wall. I get the footings placed, put in my first course, and I called for an inspection inspector came and said, uh, you're not licensed to do this. You're licensed for tile, not block work. So basically lost my tile contractor's license, lost my trucks, lost my house, lost, 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 lost. Basically all that was left was me and my dog. Um, and we were out of a home. We were out of, out of things, everything. Um, to the point where I couldn't buy dog food. I had to feed him, you know, 99 cent cheeseburgers from McDonald's at times. And it, it was a, it was a really tough time in my life after having every, after working so hard uh, for everything. So I ended up answering an ad on Craigslist to go put this guy sawed in at his house. And he had an office that did head hunting and he placed accountants. And, you know, if someone needed a receptionist, he would, he would find a receptionist and place them. So he hires me on and uh, he says, come into my office, come work for me. And I'm, I'm thinking at the time, like, I need something, I need some type of work. What he did is he landed this gig where he placed receptionist, a bilingual receptionist to explain to the Hispanic population why their mortgage fucked them. So he was pretty much the only person doing well in this terrible time. 
and he was taking advantage of, of the whole setup. And I thought to myself like, wow, he really turned a bad situation into something good so I can learn from this person. Uh, the bottom line was, is I was making commission only though. So no salary, no hourly wage, commission only. And I had to dress up nice. And at the time I had what I called two sets of church clothes. So clothes that you had a collar and nice shoes and the same shoes, but different clothes, two sets of clothes. Um, Las Vegas has really cheap dry cleaning. So I would, I would spend about 15 to 20 bucks a week on getting one dry cleaned as I was wearing the other one. I was having meetings with CEOs, CFOs, uh, the CFO of Hooters Casino when they filed their bankruptcy. I had a meeting with him all while had zero dollars in the bank account. Um, I was negative a lot and I was really fumbling through life at that point, but I had to put on a, a, a really good show. The point of this, the point of me telling you all this is that during that time when I felt in absolute despair, an absolute struggle, and in what I considered the worst time of my life, there was one thing that, um, that I didn't recognize, one thing that I didn't pay attention to. And that is that that struggle going through that experience is the best part of the growth in your life. So the process that you go that you go through that builds you to the person that you want to be is the majority. So if you look at it like a pie, the process is the pie and the whipped cream is the goal and the stuff that you want to achieve at the end of it. So when you get to the end, most people don't realize you don't need the fucking whipped cream. You don't need the Porsche, the huge estate. You don't need the PS5, the Jordans, the gold chain. You don't need that shit. That's whipped cream. What you need is the actual pie. That's the good part. So for those of you that are going through shit right now, those of you that are feeling like you've lost everything, those of you who have fought your ass off all fucking day, and you have a little child looking at you for a meal and you can't figure out how you're going to pay a rent or your car payment or you throw five bucks in your gas tank because you can't afford to fill it up. A gas tank that's probably going to get repoed in a month or two. When you're going through that shit, when everybody's looking at you for the next move and you got no fucking idea, remember, this is the pie and it does not seem like it. I promise you, but by the time you get to the end of it, you'll realize that going through that shit, going through that stuff is what makes it all worth it. Experience failure, experience hard times, and you will be able to overcome anything. So in other words, hand a man a fish, He'll eat for the day, teach a man how to fish, and he'll eat for a lifetime. If you've been handed everything throughout your life, you will never know how to start over. But if you have worked your ass off from nothing to something, then you'll know how to feed yourself for life. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you paying attention to the podcast. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, get the fuck back to work.